Hey happy people, I'm Jordan. And I'm Joelle, and you're watching A, a Double, Double Dose. Dose. The holidays are now among us. Today is the last day of November. I know. December is tomorrow, which is just crazy, which means that Thanksgiving is now over. We do hope that everyone watching had a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We know we did. Yes. We always do. I'm still full. Yes. I just had my, uh, probably maybe my like fifth or sixth plate, and it was still really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's still, still just as good as it was on Thursday. Yes. But the preparations for Thanksgiving are always a lot. Yeah. And our family definitely gets more into the holiday spirit than most. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> to say the least. To say the least. We have a lot of traditions that we do every year. We want to share them with you all because everyone we tell about our traditions just is in total awe. Yes. And as most of you know, we like to bake. Yeah. Some of you may know, some of you may not. We do like to bake a lot. We love our sweets and our treats. And we made a lot of pies and cakes and helped some with the food, <laughs> the real food as well. Um, so take a look at the preparations for Thanksgiving. Mm, what do we have here, Jordan? I am making meatballs. Now, now I'm going to eat meatballs on Thanksgiving, but we do. And to make them really good, we put duck sauce in the gravy. So I'm gonna make them here and then put my sauce in here and cook them. Mm -hmm. I make it easy stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we really do love to bake. Mm -hmm. uh, sweet potato pie has been a tradition in our family since forever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we all love sweet potatoes and we, of course, you know, you have to put the sugar and the brown sugar and the nutmeg and the cinnamon and all that in it to make it extra good. And then why not dump it into a pie crust? <laughs> so we do that. Uh, it's actually my dad's recipe mm -hmm. and it's not even really a recipe. We just keep adding, tasting, and then once it's good, it's, it's good. good. Yeah. Every year it seems to taste the same. So I think we all have acquired the same taste for it. I made them this year. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll see a little bit of those preparations in our videos. Um, but I happened to be the pie person. I ended up making <laughs> apple pies too. I helped. I did help with the apple pies. I peeled the apples. I cut them. Yes. I added a good amount of, of the ingredients. Jordan <laughs> just kind of oversaw the pie making. I did because I usually make the apple pies. That's my specialty. Yes. So if you want an apple pie, you can call me. <laughs> I'll let you know the price. <laughs> Um, but we usually get them from Delicious Orchards, mm -hmm. which is a excellent um, kind of like market, bakery, market, grocery, grocery store, store yeah. in Colton, New Jersey. If you've never been, you have to try it. Um, apple cider donuts, you cannot leave there without apple cider donuts. Yeah, so it's, it's really, really good. But this year, I wanted to make the apple pies, and sorry Delicious Orchards, but mine were better. <laughs> but I can't touch some of the other things that they make. Yeah. So we did have to go there still this year. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, take a look. And I made the pound cake this year, which is my first time making it for Thanksgiving. Made it a couple weeks ago to kind of test it out. Came out pretty good. Altered the recipe a little bit. I found a recipe on Pinterest. I think it's the Martha Stewart recipe, actually. Added a few more things of my own, and it came out incredible. So, hey. What are you making? Pound cake. From? Scratch. Have you made it before? Yes, I have. Was it good? It was good. I just need to improve the recipe a little bit this time, so I have 10 eggs instead of 8. Okay. What are we making now? Apple pie. My specialty. I already made the sweet potato pie. So that's my dad's recipe. Um, so now I'm making the apple pie, which is mine. Now, this next tradition is one like no other I have ever heard before. This started probably about five or six years yeah, ago. Yeah, I think we were seniors in high school when yeah. we first started this. Yeah, so about five years ago, first started, um, our family came up with, we had learned a song somewhere about turkeys and we sung it on Thanksgiving. So then that, that turned into everyone else creating their own song the following year. Right. So the tradition is that every family within our family, so like our parents and like our immediate family, my cousin's immediate family, everyone is supposed to come with their very own song about Thanksgiving. So usually it's taking a song that's really popular on the radio right now or a song that was really popular a while at some ago point. at some point and changing the words to make them fit the Thanksgiving theme. So everything is fair game. Everything from turkey to yams to coming to our to house. To family members. Family members to the other traditions that we do. Everything about Thanksgiving is definitely fair game and for sure we always include it. And we always win the best song. Take a look. Uh oh. It might seem crazy, but we're about to say. Uh oh. <laughs> this event's here. You can take a break. <laughs> Sit back, relax, serve yourself a plate. Uh oh. <laughs> Eat your food like you don't care, because it's turkey day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Because we're happy now, can't nothing 
Bring me down. Oh, bring me down. The cat got the cause I'm happy. Come along if you feel your pants ripping out the seams. Yay. Yay. Now, what's a family gathering without playing some games? I know I saw some people on Instagram playing um, different Heads board up, games uh, with Jenga. But our tradition has been around for a while. And some of these traditions come from other holidays and kind of incorporating different things. Who doesn't love to get a gift? So of course, even though Thanksgiving is not really a gift giving holiday, we've made it into one. <laughs> and we have a grab bag every year. So everyone brings their own gift. The limit is about $15, $20 for the gift. Put it in the middle. There used to be two separate ones, but right, now we're all, little. Right now all the kids are grown up, so there's no kid grab bag. Everyone is fair game. Um, and we put a gift in the middle and each of us pick a number mm -hmm. and then that tells the order of, of how we're going to go. Now, yeah. usually <laughs> there's some type of gag gift that's, that's thrown in there. Our Uncle Baron that's sponsored by right. Baron. Our Uncle Baron is known for his <laughs> gag gifts. One year he And we're talking about like electric fly swatters. Right. We're talking about uh, Thanksgiving dinner flavored tur um, soda, soda, like turkey flavored soda. Bill Clinton admitting that he did not sleep with Monica Lewinsky. Lewinsky. Yeah. Yeah, those those have have made appearances in our grab bag. This year the gifts were a little bit more conservative, a little bit more, you know, no one was really well, everyone's always on edge in the beginning, then once all the gifts are open, we realize that you don't have to be on edge so much, but we can I have steal a gifts. portable phone charger. Yeah. Like, I, who gets that in a family bag grab I bag? I got so twenty dollars. Well, I to, stole it from someone actually. Yeah, I got twenty dollars to Target. So I was really excited, especially with Black Friday being the next day. <laughs> um and my dad got twenty dollars to Target as well and I I had swiped his card. So I ended up with $40 to Target. <laughs> and then after the grab bag, we always play at least two rounds of LCR. So for anyone who doesn't know what LCR is, LCR... You're missing out. Yeah. LCR is a fun kind of little gambling game that kids can play as well. Um, yeah, as long as you don't have any cops or anyone in your family, he's going to turn you in. Um, but you start with $3 and you roll dice and they stand for left, center, or right. The money goes round and round and round the table mm -hmm. until the last person ends up with a dollar and that person wins everyone's three dollars yeah so it's a lot of fun anyone of any age can play and you will be screaming <laughs> by the end of the game take a look at our grab bag and lcr I have one more quick. Right? What number is that? This yeah. is five. 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 She has to pick up. Well, they, they have some or six. So happy people, we hope you had a very, very happy Thanksgiving and that you enjoy our crazy family. We will be back for Christmas and the other half of our family will be in it for Christmas. So yes. it's even more craziness and even more fun. Be safe out there for a holiday season. Get some good deals. We can also let you know how to do that. Keep watching our YouTube videos and we'll put up some double dose deals. Uh, but in the meantime, we have loved sharing our traditions with you. And as always, we're wishing you love and happiness. I'm Jordan. And I'm Joelle. And this is a double dose. dose.